Hi, welcome to the product tour for Bentley Point Tools VADI. Over the next few minutes I'm going to show you what Bentley Point Tools can do and how it can improve your point cloud workflow. Bentley Point Tools has an industry leading point cloud engine which allows you to view, ed edit and manage huge data sets. Here we can see one of the new tools in action, object animation, but we'll come to that later. Uh, I want to show you the new user interface which includes a ribbon menu at the top which you can scroll through to get to the most used tools. Um, we have docked menus on the right hand side and tabbed menus on the left. This keeps all the tools that you use most close to hand and keeps the viewport uncluttered and as large as possible on screen at all times. The new layer system is vastly improved and gives control of layer state including visibility, renaming, locking, uh, we can color layers, you can have up to 128 layers um, and when, you, when used in conjunction with the selection tools, you've got a powerful point cloud editing tool set. Um, here we can see the single layer mode, which allows us to look at one, one layer at a time. Um, so you've only got the data that you need when you need it. And here you can see I've placed each scan from a pod on a, on a separate layer and colored them individually, all just with two, two clicks. Other new tools include the ability to read data from a LAS file. So you can read the classes and they can be automatically uh, split into layers. And of course we have the animation system. It makes it very easy to produce high quality movies with minimal effort. So here you can see I'm using the animation wizard and setting keyframes um, which is very straightforward and then we can go on and use the graph editor afterwards to fine tune that animation. Uh, for the first time we have the opportunity to control objects using the animation system so we can control the movement of an object through a point cloud and we can also do some more advanced stuff like scripting and parenting so here you can see I've attached the camera to the object I've parented it to the object so it follows it through the point cloud and the scripting also presents some new opportunities for automating camera movement and object movement Clash Detection and Differencing Toolset. The Clash Detection tool has three aspects to it. Firstly, we're going to look at the Static Interference Test. This tests whether there is a clash between two or more objects in their current position. Here you can see a proposed pipe run uh, placed into a point cloud in the ceiling of a factory. Um, secondly, we're looking at um, a dynamic interference test which analyzes two or more objects, um, typically, typically one being the environment and one being the uh, subject. So here we have a plant and a uh, proposed large or oversized load. Um, so we can visually check if it's going to fit underneath this bridge. And the third type of interference is a path interference. So here I set an animation path or a path of movement for this object uh, along a conveyor belt and then I can check any points of interference so we can see here it's as it, as it spins it's finding a, a clash there so for each frame we can stop and then interrogate what is happening and where the clash is occurring so finally let me show you the differencing tools this allows you to take two point clouds of the same area and compare them and identify any additions or subtractions that might be present in the data. These tools could be useful for measuring building site progression over time, asset management and other monitoring tasks. For more information about these tools, check our other videos on YouTube.